When was the last time you checked your home for radon? Yeah, radon. It's a colorless, odorless gas that causes major, major problems. That's right. Radon is a gas that can build up in homes. You probably wouldn't even know that you had it if you did. High levels of radon, however, can cause lung cancer. Guys, not just that. This is now, this statistic is probably going to blow your mind. It blows mine. Radon is the second leading cause of lung cancer in the United States. That is right. And you know what? Uh, every home should really be tested for radon because that's how you're going to know if you have levels that are too high in your home. I'm going to tell you exactly how to test for this. We are talking about seven ways to keep your lungs healthy. The first way is to make sure you don't have levels of radon that are too high in your home because it can be downright dangerous uh, for your health. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician. So let's keep going. First of all, um, there are a lot of different radon tests out there. There are some where you can do it yourself. Uh, there are short-term ones, long-term ones. You can have someone come out and do it for you. Actually, uh, if you go to the website, uh, lung.org, um, they actually have, this is the American Lung Association, they have a section here where you can order tests kind of right on their website or through their website, by the way. Uh, you can learn more about radon and just sort of see what's going on and get information. But uh, guys, this is super important. Check your home for radon and understand it could be damaging to your lung health. Now, second thing, second way to help keep your lungs healthy is to avoid pollution. Now, it's hard to avoid pollution because pollution is kind of everywhere in the air, but there are some times and some places that have more pollution than others. So how do you check for that, you might ask? Well, there is something called the Air Quality Index. Uh, if you go to airnow.gov, A-I-R-N-O-W.gov, you can actually put your zip code in and check to see if the pollution in your region is high, if it's low, if it's medium, whatever. And the idea is that if you've got a lot of pollution going on in the air around where you live, you should stay inside during those times. Uh, guys, super important. So air now, uh, excuse me, airnow.gov and for the radon and other general lung health, go to lung.org, as I mentioned uh, before. Other ways that you can keep your lungs healthy, guys, don't smoke, okay? We know that smoking is a leading cause of lung cancer. And if you do smoke, uh, work to stop smoking. One of the most important things you can do anyway regardless of whether it's for your lungs or other organs like your heart and other things, super important. All right, number four, clean your carpets. That's right. What happens if we don't clean them? Well, they get dirty, but they also get dusty. There might be dust mites. There might be uh, all sorts of dander and pet hair and all sorts of things that really can cause our lungs problems. So make sure that you are vacuuming regularly your carpets, super important. Also, exercising. Exercising is great for our whole body, but it's also good for our lungs to keep them active and kind of working and staying in shape so to speak. So make sure that you're exercising. Uh, the last two, clean your humidifier. If you have a humidifier at home, don't just let that thing sit and never clean it. You got to make sure you keep that thing clean. And I would say the last thing I want to suggest is just general sort of wellness and trying to stay healthy. How do we do that in this day and age? That is by washing our hands, using hand sanitizer, making sure that we are uh, getting our regular health checkups, that we're keeping our, our teeth clean and our gums healthy. Trying to stay as healthy as possible is also going to help our lungs directly and indirectly. Guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have been checking your home for radon, if you use the air quality index, uh, other things that you might do for your lungs and your overall health. I want to know. Put those in the comments. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. By the way, if you have not liked and followed my page on Facebook, please do. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. And for those of you on YouTube, hello. Please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates, guys. I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.